Hey guys, what's up? This is Muscle Master Massage again, here at it again with another podcast. Of course, we are always on the hunt for the hottest, latest new content creators. And so we've got a gentleman here that we're just going to pick his brain here and get to know who he is, what he's doing, what he's got coming up. Um, and also share some information with you here later in the end of the podcast here. So be looking out for some content. Uh, we'll be throwing him on the table here as well. So without further ado, introduce yourself. Hey, what's going on, y'all? Um, I'm Brooklyn Kid. Uh, new to the content creating scene. Just enjoying it, feeling it out, loving it. And just going with the flow for now. Okay. All right. Cool. So Brooklyn Kid, are you from Brooklyn? I am from Brooklyn. Okay. Originally born and raised um, of Jamaican descent. I'm kind of the only American in our family for me and my twin old twin parents. But um, yeah, moved to uh, Georgia, end of high school, and kind of just been here in Atlanta, just you know, laying low, living life. I uh, originally started out doing porn uh, with a few companies and started stripping, but then kind of just up it was like you know been there done that got into a relationship been there done that <laughs> and you know just living life now okay all right okay so how long have you been here in Atlanta um since well I've been in Georgia since like 04 I'm in Atlanta like the city of Atlanta not really because I'm kind of like on the outskirts but I'm always in the city okay. um but yeah, I mean, it's not even that far. I got a 40 minute drive from the city or downtown. Mm -hmm. So, all in all, about 20 years, I would say. Or oh, okay, cool. Wow. 20 for sure. So, so now you say, right now. Okay, so now you said you're new to content creating. So, how long have you been doing it? How, how is it so far? I mean, um, honestly, I mean, it's not as easy. It is a job. Um, more so not no different than a job you're just kind of doing it for yourself um the solo route is cool um i'm assuming uh because i can hear it, it's a lot of headache dealing with collabs and whatnot mm -hmm. again i haven't done um much or any to speak on that but for me i'm um, just doing my own thing it's kind of just me doing my own thing um it's kind of mostly clearing out my phone from old, <laughs> old <laughs> videos of me playing with toys and pleasuring myself on a regular basis, anywhere, wherever, for me um, to be posted and whatnot. Uh, and I see if you like other people, you know, doing other things that other people like, like feet and other fetishes mm -hmm. that uh, are comfortable to me to do. You know, mm -hmm. I don't mind doing. Um, but again, the collab specifically is not saying it's not a route that I choose, but you know, I, that's to be seen. Um, but for now, the content, the solo content is, um, it's not so bad. It's easier. It's just staying on top of myself to right. do it. Right. And right. Keep right. Consistent. I was just about to say, I mean, that's the. Um, so that I'm kind of a procrastinator. So um, I kind of let like get in my head and overthink a little bit too much, but keeping on myself to do it like it's a job is the thing that I'm trying to get through. And I have help of other content creators, um, shout out to the board in the pit, um, Mass Bandit and others, like mm -hmm. they um, are always down and give me advice and um, tidbits on what would be best, how to do it, how to go about it and things like that. Right, true, true. So, so far, I mean, it's cool. I just need to stay on top of myself to do it. Well, I mean, you, that, doing the solo that makes you accountable. I mean, <coughs> right? Like if I want to make the collab money, with somebody it. else, yeah. you know, where they set appointments <laughs> and they don't show up and it's just, just like that. So, um, I mean, that is the wonderful part that you don't have to deal with to some degree until you well go to that. But I mean, I've had other people out. reach out as well mm -hmm. to want to collab, and I, you know, I was in the midst of trying to set that up. So yeah, that I mean, those things that have already happened, setting up. And it falling through, and then um, you know, 
people saying, um, yo, well, I should have had a backup. And I was like, well, I mean, I didn't really assume to have a backup if I didn't think it was. Right. But right. now that I know setting up appointments like that or any event, things like that go down to have a backup or, you know, a standby or let somebody, you know, you know just have more than one option available. Yeah. So yeah. nowadays, yeah, true. But again, true. I didn't expect that because I wouldn't have known that, you know, working with other creators would be such of a, you know, not a one-on-one, -on -one, but like you really got to be dependent on your co-star or the other person. But, you know, I guess for right now, solo content is what's doing best for me. So I'm fine with just doing that until right. I need to so you wanna branch out a little more. Out this is, isn't right. um, making any money for me. But so far, so good. No complaints. I mean, who don't like pleasure in themselves? So why not? <laughs> well, <laughs> why not, true. right? Yeah. Um, so we are going to be pretty much the first. Yeah. None. So, okay. So this is the first, uh, well, for me, not for us. <laughs> for me. But yeah, you guys are helping me get into that. So, I mean, yeah, I'm ready for it. It's, not a bad idea because I'm here, right? So, <laughs> um, right. right. So, yeah, I'm, I'm with it. I'm not. Um, I mean, I have would have restrictions with certain things, but so far you haven't presented me with things that I'll be like, no, not, not for me. But um, so I have right you. Idea. So since so since you you're still like a month or two in thus far, have mm -hmm. you had any? crazy requests to come through like something that was just so um like oh hell no <laughs> not a oh hell no but i did get a, um a dm to make a specific or like a custom video um and i was like on snapchat kind of you know doing my own thing which is why the only family was like kind of like might as well because on only on snapchat i was kind of doing that pretty much like mm -hmm. i was trying to keep it for like private mm -hmm. and right. i had a following exactly. and it was like um i had <clears throat> restrictions not restrictions but like set um uh private snap monthly private mm -hmm. like monthly payments i was selling underwear selling pictures mm -hmm. and it was kind of like okay i think it was more so I'm already doing it on Snapchat, so mm -hmm. what's the point of doing all these fans? And I'm doing it on Snapchat, um, making my money off of it, like getting straight to my cash app, banking, um, without having to do the the promo work more so. Mm -hmm. um, it was kind of like hustle money because I was still, or I am, you know, working a, a nine to five and mm -hmm. uh, you know a night gig. So it was kind of like this was just extra money to fill my pocket to like buy weed and shit like that. Yeah. Um, but now, since my only my Snapchat was deleted, because you know you get put into like a whole bunch of groups, added randomly, and then those groups get like reported, and you being in the groups get reported as well. So yeah, I ended up losing the home, the Snapchat. And it's just like, well, why not OnlyFans? I was already doing a Snapchat. Why not doing OnlyFans? Right. Okay. Um, and it's a little weird because now I gotta stay on it with them taking some money out of it. I'm pretty sure with them reporting it to the IRS, I got to do it as well now, like illegally. So it's like, you know, yeah. documents, mm -hmm. payments, all that. Mm -hmm. So it's just like, I got to step up for me to do what I need right. to do for me mm -hmm. to keep making money for me. So <clears throat> just yeah. not overthink it more so, but and just do it. Like, take a chance. It's a lot of ways that you, it's a lot of ways or reasons why you wouldn't do it. But I mean, there's also ways or reasons why you should. I mean, why not? Why I not? guess. Right. Yeah, I've already yeah. been out there kind of doing my own things in the past with other companies. Why not just, I'm not saying it's like a lifelong mm. right. career True. path for right. me, but Absolutely. it's a hustle that's um, passively bringing an income. In income. And so do you find it easier in like being your own content creator, having your own OnlyFans? than not working with a company? Um, well, actually, yes. Because working with companies, you kind of didn't really have a say so. Um, and with working with company um, or companies, 
it was it wasn't as um what's the word uh natural um with a lot of companies you were you know you signed a contract mm -hmm. um and all that stuff and you were told who you're shooting with probably like a a week or a few days prior to you had to show up like a regular job but um with companies it's kind of like okay we're doing this and, you know, things happen, people go soft, people don't feel well, people make a mess, you know, shit like that. And then we gotta stop and work around all those Yeah, and then, right. then you got to yeah. keep doing it. And it's like, right. stop, next position, stop, next position. So mm -hmm. it's kind of like, um, it gets in your head because you're, you have to think of it as a job. So yeah, yeah. now um, you didn't spend four or five hours trying to make a little 30 damn minute video that may or may not be what people want to see. And, you know, yeah, you still get paid for it in the end, regardless of, you know, whether the video came out, which was kind of my thing. Like I've shot for a lot of companies and um, I kind of laid low. Like I wasn't trying, I wasn't in it originally for Notoriety. Mm -hmm. I was trying to just hustle and have So right, yeah. um, I did a lot of scenes and made my money and kind of like went on my business. So as I, <clears throat> as I was staying low, a lot of companies like were halted on posting videos and whatnot. You know, I guess like my time passed, mm -hmm. so they wasn't gonna really, really, uh, you know, release it. And that was fine to me because again, I got paid already. But yeah, okay. you know, it, it came and went, and I enjoyed that for a bit, like not being on the front page or on somebody's FYP mm -hmm. and you know just living a regular life not regular but like living a non notarized life or just being out there especially like when you're dating and whatnot mm -hmm. you know your partner and your securities at the time and I was younger so again mistakes happen um and you just roll with the punches of, of life when you're going about right. things like that. But with working with companies, yeah, it was more so you did what you had to do to get through the day. Um, versus, I'm assuming with content creators, <clears throat> you hit, well, I mean, it's still a job, but you hit them mm -hmm. up regardless of, you know, okay, well, he's hot right now. So, you know, let me see if I can get a collab in right. versus, oh, I, th I do think, um, and then in doing so, you know, I do think he's attractive. Mm -hmm. I do like the way he has sex or um and so that would come across with a lot of videos, the intimacy and it's yeah, shooting. You actually know. get to pick who instead of waiting to see who you're gonna be. And you don't even wait. Right? They kinda of just like, hey, you're shooting with so and so and you just like, ugh. But yeah. you gotta <laughs> make it happen. You gotta mm -hmm. do what you gotta right. do for that check that you're gonna get. That's mm -hmm. true. Um, on that day. So So speaking of dating, are you dating anybody right now or are you no, single? I'm single? Um um, <laughs> I'm at a point in my life where I'm trying to focus on me um, okay. and not to be cliche like that, but I'm not in a space to provide longevity to someone else mm -hmm. um, without still, you know, uh, hindering myself. So um, let me fill my cup for it to run it over to provide for somebody else. But right now, so, so. I'm... I'm depleted. Life is already life in, and I'm trying to stay afloat with the universe beating my ass. So there's no so point. Right, yeah. <laughs> just trying to go through with somebody right else. Right. Yeah. Um, I've, I have people I communicate with on a regular basis, but uh, I mean, that's just that. Right, not taking it to a whole relationship type. Um, not even that. We just communicate. I do like the camaraderie between the friends that I have, mm -hmm. and I'm not out here just because again for me it's been there done that so mm -hmm. nobody has showed me the hype in trying to jump back in to doing so or being around someone if I'm not enjoying their company or their or they're not uh, contributing to my peace mm -hmm. there's no point in being around them um, <clears throat> So the handful of friends that I know or have, and 
the handful of people that I talk to on a regular basis are just that. Um, I'm an anime watcher, so I literally just, I'm home chilling, kicking it, watching anime, smoking, chilling. Okay. It's comfortable mm -hmm. to be in my own space and just do my own thing without having to worry about it. I have to trust somebody or if somebody drama, wants to be yeah. in my life or in my space. Um, so yeah, I, I'm just living life for me and going about that, trying to survive like everybody else the best way I know how. So okay. well, that's my focus. Yeah, yeah, that's not that wrong with that at all. I mean, <laughs> if the time is right and that person and you see fit to spit it into your life, then great, wonderful. You'll make space for that. But if there's no space for it, then you're forcing it. And, and, you know, right. It'll 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 naturally come. So, you know, if it's to come, yeah. If it's yeah, come, I mean, but, if it's to come, it'll naturally come. I mean, that's not an issue there at all. So, so what are some of your fetishes? Like, what what do you consider to be like some of your? Fetishes? I like second dig. Like, I'm a dick sucker for me. Like, I I enjoy second dig um, and eating ass. I'm very very oral. I like doing that. Um, I like hairy asses. That's a turn on. Mm -hmm. Um. I am into man scent, but people confuse the two <laughs> between. Not I was waiting on you to clean that up. I was I was waiting on you to get the yeah. I, I know where you go, but I, I'm gonna let you having a natural scent. Yeah. yeah. Um, okay. Mm -hmm. Going about your day. Yeah. So it's huge difference. Musk. Yeah. M U S K and must. Two different, two different things, ways. and two the line ways. is it's very thin or being it's blurred. blurred a lot. So, yeah. right. but teach his own. All right, yeah. true. So true enough, absolutely. But um, if you do go about your day and do have a natural body, and not even bo, I don't even want to say bo. Um, it's it's very hard to explain, but again, <clears throat> yeah, I understand. But yeah, it's a thin line between man saying and and musty. Yeah. And, <laughs> Yeah, and washed your ass. Yeah, right. You had washed your ass. It's yeah. kind of. Yeah. Uh -uh. Um, but I do like the natural body oil for most men. Uh, with, okay. with the exes that I have been, um, or the ex that I've had, and um, it wasn't shunned like you no, know, but yeah. yeah. Um, as far as my fetish. Um, I have like a lot of toys. I kind of just a lot of do my own things most of the time because it gets a headache, especially here in Atlanta. <clears throat> Not even getting a headache, but um, the go the back and forth with a lot of people. I would rather just do it myself. <laughs> get it over with, do it myself. Um, yeah, I have like toys. Uh, so, so you say you you're fully versed, right? I am. Is there one that you prefer more than the other, or is it equal equal? I enjoy them. It it's equal. No, it well, it's like fifty one forty nine, and the turning point mostly for me is um, wind bottoming that prep time and just prepping. It just it deters me so quick. It it don't even be um, anyone's fault but my own because <clears throat> mm -hmm. I could be in the mood. Mm -hmm. To be like one get fucked. Um, and I would start thinking about the process and be like, fuck it, nope. I'm <laughs> I would uh, weigh the options of the part, like, is this gonna be worth the two hours mm -hmm. in the bathroom? Um, <laughs> and then I'd just be like, mm, I'll chance it, start the process. And then they just be like, mm, my body does this, have its own thing. And then if you have people that like, I know my body, I know my body. So no, it's not gonna happen if I'm not ready. Like yeah. it's, yeah. I'd rather not embarrass myself. Yeah. Um, right. But that's, again, that's just me. Some people take the chance and be like, oh, you know, let me go. I'd rather just not, again, not take that chance. So yeah, those <laughs> those are the turning factor. Like, cause it's equal. I do enjoy equal. I like oral, like, um, Keep a head or just being oral preferred. Like, and then it doesn't always have to be penetration for me. Like, foreplay is, um, 
with the person that I enjoy being with is can be just as pleasure. Yeah, so it don't yeah. always be mm-hmm. penetration, right. but right. when it comes to that, the turning factor is just the whole prep time for me. I I be over it before it even starts. Yeah, the, the, the thought of wanting to, to do it, and I'm just like, oh my god, after two hours, and then you know, you know, you're in the in the bathroom, and in my house, my my bathroom is kind of like in the back of the house, so. Um, the Wi-Fi kind of like don't be so if I'm in the bathroom my phone is kind of like whatever game I'm playing just be fucking up <laughs> like, oh my God, I don't and then you gotta be in there for two hours and then so yeah it's just a whole process <laughs> that I don't even want to go about doing which deters me from wanting to do it all together which would just be like okay let me just save my dildo because I get straight to the point I get to nitty gritty I'll be done in about right. 15 I mean, minutes you know and I'm, right, and you I'm know good in 15 minutes right. versus you know. Going through that process and then dealing with somebody who may or may not do what you need them to do, right. and, yeah. not get, and not get and then you end up using the door, right. Right. right? And then you're just right. having so it's not like I just did it from the get go and just yeah, for just said fuck it. So that makes yeah. sense. That that's, makes that that that's that's just makes me. a whole lot of sense. Absolutely. But yeah, I, I I'm not always um, penetrative. Like it don't necessarily have to be all uh, penetrative. Um, as long as I'm kind of like pleasuring you, you pleasuring me, that's fine. Mm-hmm. Okay. So what's mm-hmm. so oral? You enjoy oral? I do. Get receiving. I mean, I know Both. giving it. Receiving. Oh, receiving. Yes. yes, I do like my dicks up, um, my ass ache, um, my right nipple, and. I am a kisser, but I don't kiss everybody, so. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Well, I'll just say I'm not a kisser. Well, I, I'm AP on who I kiss. Right. So, yeah, yeah I don't kiss everybody, so. Mm-hmm. Yeah, on that one. Yeah. And it's not, not nothing personal, I just don't. Mm-hmm. But, I mean, <clears throat> being intimate with somebody, not kissing is a must, but um, I wouldn't be intimate with you if I wasn't thinking about kissing you or would want to kiss you but again still um as you look about you know uh doing content with other people sometimes it is just that um transactional so you don't necessarily need to um do all of that but you know make sure that you're healthy and good for the shoe with your person and then you're good to go to make some good content good good okay all right cool cool any questions? No, I think I've asked. Pretty good. <laughs> so then, um, as far as since you're just really kind of starting out, your content, you're getting all this, this you know, momentum going, which is good momentum for you or anything. Who, who out there? Are there individuals out there on your bucket list that you would say two people that you would love to eventually collab with? Um, it, I know that most of you mostly do solo. But you were saying earlier that you are open to the possibility of collabing with yeah, others. So I am open, but I don't have that? anyone specific like Not right now. Right now okay. I'm, you know, I've just been focused on doing me. Um, I have had a few people in my DMs. Um, and, you know, requesting about like working and linking up and um, going that route. But, uh, you know, at the present moment, Nobody specifically off the rip to just name because it's kind of just like in communications, even if it's that. Um, and it's probably not, it probably just was a oh, we've seen him online, just want to drop a line, but nobody has um, really like suggested, oh, well, let's do X, Y, and Z on this like day. That you've or, seen that you would mm, say, I have went forward yeah. and have actually stuck to you know dates and times, so it's kind of like. Um, it is what it is. I'm not pressed. Um, <clears throat> not saying that um, being, you know, things happen. Life is life and for everybody. So I'm not like, oh my God, because you, you missed you miss this opportunity. I don't want to, you know, things happen. So yeah. it is what it is. Um, if there's an availability again, we can discuss it, but it's yeah. not like I'm um, chasing after anybody. Right. 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 No, 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 no. Right. no not so much yeah. chasing. Oh, was, not even chasing, you know, just like not. Yeah, I was, I'm was just, wondering if, you know, you've scrolled across and you said, oh, wow, if, if I did a collab with someone, 
oh, that could be a person that would be a possibility. I don't know. I okay. haven't. When it comes to collabs, no, I haven't. No one now, sparked, I've been, sparked that interest. As far as yeah. collabs, now I've been scrolling through Twitter and be like, I took his dick. Oh, I would love to use that ass. Mm -hmm. Or oh, yeah, I would fuck him. Or I would let him fuck me. I've done that. Is that more okay? Then is that personal. More on a personal? First okay. Personal, like, right. Okay. Not on a collab. Yeah, not on a collab. Okay. I haven't. Um, again, collabs haven't really been a focus for me. Um, mm -hmm. Open to it and don't mind doing it, but solo is kind of what I'm trying to stay focused on and build a brand for me or myself, mm -hmm. so that way like, people can want to collab. Right. Um, but again, I'm still open to collabs and the idea and possibilities of them. So. Okay. I always wish, you know, looking at upgrade, go for right. it, move, mm -hmm. keep the, do keep, things, keep the trying to be motion. fresh, you know, right. yeah. Absolutely, okay. All right, cool, sounds good, man. We love it, we love it, we absolutely love it. Um, do you want to close that? Well, uh, shout out your social media where people can like reach out to you, um, you like you, or like this stuff. I, well, you know, I do have an OnlyFans now, Brooklyn Kid, B-R-K-L-Y-N, underscore K-I-D-D, um, OnlyFans, Twitter, Instagram, it's all the same. B R K L Y N underscore K I D D. I've had it for a while. Um, Snapchat, haven't created a new one yet. <laughs> well, actually, I'm like, I did, and that was also uh, deleted within like two weeks. So I guess I'll create another one. Um, yeah. Yeah, they don't, they don't, they don't want it to be great, but. And we'll make sure that we'll tag you all your information on. I, I on appreciate it. I appreciate it. But yeah, that's my uh, socials for now. Okay, cool. Perfect. Sounds good, man. Well, well, we we appreciate you stopping in, coming <coughs> just to kind of chat chat with us. You know, giving um, potential fans and followers <laughs> to your 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 brand, which you're you're popping out and getting out there. And Thank sure, you guys, hospitality. You know, I do appreciate it. You're more than welcome. It. Yeah, you're more than welcome. So um, we appreciate that. So be on the lookout for this cat. He's you know on the up and coming. Got some great new content coming out. Um, his solo uh, content is absolutely amazing. Um, I've already checked it out. It looks really, really mm -hmm. good. So, um, and then also, like I said, he'll be collabing with us, you know, which is one of his first collabs. So we'll, you know, check him out. We're going to give him a really cool massage, you know, and, um, just, uh, have fun, you know? So check out our website, guys. Be sure to check out our website. Also, like I always say, um, when following any of us content creators, do more than just hit that hard to actually retweet um repost the content because of course that helps spread the word on what content creators are doing and it also helps to show that you know hey you're sharing their content to to help them build their fan base um out there and their followers so don't just hit the heart actually hit that retweet button out there again follow us on musclemaster.info page and then also follow the magazine at ultimateappealmagazine.us so guys we'll keep you posted be on the lookout for some great new stuff. Peace.